Camera's rolling? Yes. Okay. So, very important. Not one, but two. So, today we're also going to do cha-cha like I did last time. We're gonna kind of move on a little bit from that. We're gonna have a little bit different subject, but I'm gonna cover some details uh, as we did last time. But before we get started with those steps, uh, we're gonna use these two. And I'm gonna show you the exercise. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a specific exercise for your arm styling. Yeah, everyone wants to have a nice arm styling these days, right? Now, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring both of my arms to the right side or to your left, doesn't really matter. So let's say I have my arms here on my right side. And afterwards, I'm gonna turn around so you can see me better from the other side. I'm just gonna show you in the beginning. And now both of your arms, I want you to move to the other side like this yes. and so I go one and then two and one I think this toilet paper makes it much more special and one side and then to the other side now I'm gonna turn around so you can see me better okay so I'm gonna uh, bring both of my arms to the right side in the beginning I hope you can still hear me right side Left side, right, left, and one, two, one, two, one, and two. Now, a couple of things that are very important during this exercise, besides having these bad ones, uh, is that you use your elbows, and some of these things we were working with. Uh, with my students, but I think everyone really should kind of concentrate and work on that, uh, especially that it doesn't require much of the space, so that's also very important. So, the main thing that I want you to do is to use your elbows. My elbow is the one that starts the movement, and then as I finish my movement, this arm is straight, my right arm in this case. Then I start my movement with my left arm, with my left elbow, is leading all the way to the side until it goes straight. So it goes elbow, straight, elbow, straight. Elbow is leading my way here, and straight, one, two. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me also good. And so I'm gonna go elbow, straight, elbow, straight, one, two, one, two. Okay, so this is exercise number one. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. While I'm doing and moving my arms, I want you to shift your body weight just the way we did last time when I was asking you to simply shift your weight from your right to your left foot. So I will be doing exactly the same thing, shifting my weight from my right to my left, from my left to my right. And while doing that, I will be moving my arms to the opposite direction than my hip is moving. So if my hip is going, if my body weight is on the left foot, my arms are going to go to the right side. If I'm going on my right foot, my arms goes to the opposite side. So I'm going to show you this a couple times here, facing you, and then I'm going to turn around. So I go one, and then I go two, and one, and two. I see myself in the mirror, and this looks really good with this toilet paper. And one, and two. So I'm going to turn around. So I'm going to start by bringing both of my arms to the right side while my body weight is on my left foot. So my body weight is on my left foot and my arms are on the right side. And now, one, my body weight is on the right foot and my arms are on the left. And one, two, one, two, one. Two. So I go counting cha cha uh, timing. I'm going two, three, cha cha. One, two, three, cha cha. One. So here is the exercise for you. I hope it's going to work out for you. You can rewatch the video also later if it's not working out. Before we get into the steps now, the most important exercise using these. Is working out just fine. Kyle, this one is for you. All right, all right, all right. So now, 
we're gonna move on. It feels weird not to have them already. It's like kind of like a pom poms. Uh, I'm gonna show you, so for the people that you were not last time during my uh, class for Cha Cha, I will show you the steps that we did last time briefly, and then I'm gonna show some extra steps. So our short routine is gonna get a little bit longer today, okay? So, I'm gonna start with my right foot going to the right side, just the basic step. I go Cha Cha, one, forward, two, three, Cha Cha, one. We did some basic step last time. I'm gonna do it one more time. And then afterwards, we're gonna do the coup and break. So I go cha cha one, and now two and three and cha cha one. Now to this side, two and three and cha cha one. One more time, two and three and cha cha one, and then two and three and cha cha one. And then I'm gonna start everything from the beginning. Two, three. Cha cha one. So this is what we did last time. Let me turn around and show you from the other side. Three together, gonna start to the right side. And cha cha one, four, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. Now two and breaks. And two and three. And cha cha one, two and. Three and cha cha one two and three and cha cha one and the last one three cha cha one and then I'm gonna go from the beginning two three cha cha one so this is what we did you can still practice that that's awesome but now I want to move on so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna connect the steps that I'm gonna show you today with the previous ones uh, so this is what I'm gonna. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the Cuban breaks, and I'm gonna show you what's what we're gonna do afterwards. So let's start from the Cuban breaks. I'm gonna start to my. Let me show you from maybe from the other side. I'm gonna start going to the right side, going two and three and cha cha one. This side two and three and cha cha one. So now. As I finish, your body weight is going to be on the right side, on the right foot. Now I'm gonna go forward. Two, we're gonna do round then. Three, cha, cha, to the side, one. Oh my goodness, that was really complicated, I know. Okay, so let me show you the round a couple times. I want you to stand on your right foot. Your left foot is pointed like this, and I'm going forward. Two, as I'm going backwards, my left foot is going to do the round there. Three, I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to place my foot, cha, feet together, cha, and then to the side, one. So I'm going to end up on my left foot. I'm going to turn around and show you that again. So this is the starting position on my right foot. Left foot is pointed. I'm going forward. Two, now round there. Three, cha, cha, one. I'm gonna show you again. And let's do the round then. Two, three, cha, cha, one. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do afterwards. So, right, I'm gonna show you from the round actually. So, I'm gonna do round first. Two, ronde. Three, cha, cha. One, and now I'm gonna go right foot backwards. Two, three, we're gonna do lock step forward and lock step backwards. Cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, again backwards. Two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three, just like that. So I'm gonna show you again from the round there, and then afterwards I'm gonna turn around. Round there, two, three, cha, cha. One, right foot goes backwards, two, three. Lock step forward, it's very small steps. Lock step backwards, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, and then two, three, cha, cha. One, and two, three. Just like that, I'm gonna show you now from this side. So starting point from the ronde, 
on your right foot and left foot is pointed. And two, three, cha, cha. One, backwards. Two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, and two. Three, cha, cha. One, two. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna show you one last time. And this is, I'm gonna show you now actually from this angle. I think that also kind of makes sense. Maybe that's also really gonna be really useful. Uh, similar to what we were doing last time, like every single time you shift your body weight, your hips are supposed to move. So let me show you. Let me show you now. So from the ronde, I'm going two, now ronde, three, cha, cha, one. I finish my body movement on my left foot. That means my hip is naturally kind of moved a little bit to the left side. I'm gonna go right foot backwards now. Two. So this is your starting position going into the lock steps. My body weight is on my right or on my right foot, all the way on my right foot. Left foot is pointed. I don't have any body weight on my left. Foot. So from this standpoint, I can start going into the lock steps. And three, cha cha. One, two. Also important here. Thank you for the camera lady for adjusting. Uh, here is important because all your body weight goes here at this point on your left foot. So my hip kind of, I'm kind of resting on my left hip a little bit here. And three, cha, cha. One, and I go backwards. Two, the same thing. I'm standing on my right foot. All my body weight is here. So my hip is kind of, I'm resting on my right hip. I'm gonna show a couple times the lock step. And three, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, and two. And your toe is pointed. Yes. All right. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show the entire routine so far that we did in these two classes. I hope I'm going to be able to fit in your screen. Okay. So from the very, very beginning, both of my feet are together. I'm going to start to the right side. And cha cha one forward two three cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one. That was the basic step. Let's move on into cuban and breaks now. All my body weight is on my right foot. I'm gonna move my left foot forward. Two and three and cha cha one. This side, two and three and cha cha. One, two times, two more times. Three and cha cha. One and then two and three and cha cha. One and here goes the new part. I'm gonna go forward and then I'm gonna do round it. Two, three, cha cha. One, right foot goes backwards. Two, three, block step. Cha cha. One. Two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, cha, cha, one, and then two, three, cha, cha, one, and two. So you did two times forward, two times backwards, and afterwards I'm gonna go back into the basic. So this is my ending, I go two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, this is the beginning, cha, cha, one. So now, a couple of things before I do that again. Is this way better when I'm turning around? Yeah. So I'm going to turn around again. I would rather be facing you, even though I cannot really see you. Uh, but so anyway, I'm going to do it again before I do that. A few important things. Every single time you step forward on two, so let's say in the beginning basis that I go two, or I'm doing the Cuban breaks like we talked last time, two and three, or I'm doing the lock steps, cha cha, one, two. This is what I want you to do. Every single time on two, I want you to bring your knees completely together. So this is called the check. So my knees here are completely together. Every single time I do two, as I'm moving forward. If I'm going backwards on two, I'm simply pointing my uh, free toe, the one that I don't have any body weight on. But if I'm going forward two, then my knees are like this, are going to be together. So let me show you from this side 
and then on this side. Then we're going to turn to the other side, like this, here, and here. Okay, cool. I hope you guys like my robot moves. So I'm going to show you now again just a new, actually no, I'm going to do everything from the very beginning. So your feet are going to be together, and I'm going to go to the right side. Cha cha, one, two, three, 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 curve and brace, two and three, and cha cha, one, two and three, and cha cha, one, two more times, two, three, and cha cha, one, two, and three, and cha cha, one, new part with the round that, two, round that, three, cha cha, one, right foot backwards, two, three, cha cha, one, two, knees together, three, cha cha, one, two, point the toe, left toe, and three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, and then from the beginning to the side, three, cha cha, one, two, three, Cha cha one. I'm gonna show you still once from being in front of you, so you can have also a better idea how it's supposed to look from front. I'm gonna show you this just one time. I'm gonna go to the right side. I'm gonna do it pretty slow. Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. I hope you guys are smiling and enjoying this. And two, three. Now Cuban breaks. Two and three and cha cha one. Two and three and cha cha one. Again, two and three and cha cha one. Two and three cha cha one. And now the round bend. Two round bend. Three cha cha one backwards. Two point the toe. Three cha cha one. Two knees together. Three cha cha one. Two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, and then two, three, cha cha to the side. So now to sum up everything today, don't lose your toilet paper. Keep doing this exercise. And most importantly, when you're dancing this little routine, every single time on two, I want you to bring your knees together because when we're talking about cha-cha, it's really important to create not only fast movement but also to be sharp. And this is what gives that sharpness. When I'm, let's say, doing the lock steps, I'm going cha-cha one and I'm going to go for two. This movement looks sharp and this is what makes cha-cha that extra flavor that looks very nice if you're able to apply it throughout the entire routine. Not in just these uh, couple of steps that I showed, but this is a very good example how you can practice that because afterwards, any routine that you're practicing, whether uh, you're dancing with one teacher or another, you can apply that and it's gonna look so much better because cha-cha, like I said before, it's not just fast, but it's also sharp. So with that technique, we can really achieve some of that sharpness.